Good morning, everyone. This is Sarah with Pickway County Library, and I'm here to bring you our baby toddler story time. We're going to start out with a finger play called Tommy Thumb. Are you ready to give it a try with me? First, you need to put both thumbs up. Tommy Thumb is up. Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees. Then tuck them into bed. Are you ready to try it again? Tommy Thumb is up. Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees. Then tuck them into bed. Good job. The next thing we're going to do is read our story together. Our book today is called Leap. It's written by John Arno Lawson. And today is National Take Your Poet to Work Day. Leap. A flea asleep in the deep green moss, nettled by midges, awakes up cross. He starts to fidget and turns and toss. Lever legs twitch to leap into the path of a little grasshopper, and that sets her jumping. No one can stop her. Glide, land, leap and glide, tilting a little from side to side, down and up to leap and away. On to a bunny, down where the flowers and the grass smell sunny. Bug on her head? Suddenly haunches, taunt to leap, land, twist and spin. The bunny bounds out as the clouds roll in. A dog gets a whiff and barks at the wind, bouncing, bouncing, springing and lunging. Down the bank that dog goes plunging. Gamble, lurch to leap, crash into the lake, scaring the lake fish wide awake. They break the surface with a flip, flop, shake. Tails go smack, silvery skins, slippery slap, flashing fins. Under again, then back to the top to leap and splash right back down to knock off a bullfrog's lily pad crown. The pond prince shows his inflatable frown. Trudging lightly, croaking and nervous, over the top of the rippling surface. Webbed feet flatten, cheeks refatten, legs stretch long to leap high onto the bank. He scrambled up, then down he sank, next to the nose of a high-strung horse, standing to drink after running her course. The horse, astounded, can't make sense of the frog, and draws back, eyes immense, rearing tail to leap straight up and over the fence, where the dog sits crouching, ready and tense. Happy barks meet startled snorts as she goes leaping after the leaping horse, West, east, south, and north, around in circles, back and forth, on all fours finally, bowing low to leap, but she can't keep up. The deep green moss is a little too deep and a little too soft. There are too many ridges and bridges to cross. She stops to pant and chews at a burr. The flea sees his chance to leap and leaps on her. They both lie down and turn and toss, then hunker down to sleep. I hope you enjoyed our story. Thank you for reading along with me. This book and lots of others are available in the Youth Services Department and are ready and available for pickup or to be placed on hold. So get online or come in and see us and choose some books to read at home. The next part of our story time will be using our sensory bin. In our sensory bin today, we will need some foam sheets, marker, and scissors, and some small frog toys if you have them. Let's take a look at how it's all going to work together. The first thing you're going to do is cut out some lily pad shapes in your foam sheet. I've also added a number to one side and the same number of dots to the other side. You can add your lily pads into a tub or water to float. And if your little one can recognize their numbers, you can float them with the number side up. And if they're not quite there yet, you can float it with the dot side up. Then you're just going to add in some plastic frog toys into your water and you can practice putting them on you can just put one on each lily pad if you would like or you can try to see if you can get 
as many frogs as there are dots before your lily pad gets too heavy and it would sink. Now you can do this in or out of the water. This is great practice on a countertop or the floor as well. Your little ones can practice putting them in order and adding the appropriate number of frogs to them, or even just laying them out on the floor and trying to jump from lily pad to lily pad. For our craft today, we have some printable coloring pages available for you on our Facebook post. We have a grasshopper, a dog, a bunny, a horse, and a fish. These are all animals that are mentioned in our story today, so you can give them names. You could try to put them in order that they show up in the story if you'd like. You can print off as many as you would like or choose one that's your favorite. We would love to see what they look like after you're all done. I hope you enjoyed our story time today and that you'll join us again next week as we continue to read and learn together.